break, and then I'm going to introduce and I'm going to draw on the board this process of mitosis for a very simplified situation. And then you guys are going to spend the remainder of the time with Jeff, Amanda, and I helping you sketch out and understand the process of mitosis. Okay? So your DNA doesn't exist just as a single long skinny piece of DNA floating free in your cell. In fact, your genome, if you were to stack it up letter for letter into one long string, would be, I don't know, you guys may know a more precise length, but it's on the order of a meter or two. That means that every single one of your 50 to 100 trillion cells have a meter of DNA chopped up into 23 pieces, 46 pieces, and stuffed into a cell, which is incredible when you think about it, right? So you have, think of how many trillions of meters of DNA molecules you have in your body, all stuffed inside of you. So what they do, or what your cell does, is it winds the DNA around these proteins and then packages the proteins up very, very tightly. So you'll see DNA wrapped around proteins and the proteins wrapped around each other, and then it all kind of packaged into this thing we call a chromosome. And your chromosomes, if you actually look at them with an electron microscope, have this image that looks something like the Michelin Man or the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> all right? Where it's a mixture of protein and DNA all kind of tightly packaged in together. So if you take one of your cells, if you're male, and you smear out the nucleus and stain all of the chromosomes and look at them, you'll see something that looks kind of like this. You'll see two copies of chromosome one, two copies of chromosome two, two copies of chromosome three, and all the way on down the line until your X and your Y chromosome, if you're male. Yeah? Uh, one, I mean, there is this special location there is that centromere location. Um, and I'm not sure why they would be kinked at that spot in particular. I don't know if you guys know. It might change just sort of the, I don't know exactly why. Not, not, not sure. Um, but one of the, I mean, an important point that, that comes out of your question is, Along the whole length of the protein, it's not a homogeneous spread of, sorry, along the whole length of the chromosomes, it's not a homogeneous mix of proteins. There are going to be different proteins of different levels at different points. And that's kind of what the staining is indicated here. And so that might change something about the flexibility of the chromosome at that point, perhaps. That would be my only guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to sketch mitosis, which involves um, sorry, cell division, which involves three steps. I'm going to write them up here. I'm going to give you the terms we're going to use to describe them in this class. Then I'm going to run a video that shows you it happening in real, real life. Then we're going to take a break. Okay? So, this is to get you guys excited to draw mitosis. So the goal of cell division is to take one cell and make from it two identical cells. So we want to take one cell and basically clone it to make two identical cells. And to do that, you only need to do three things. The first thing you need to do is you need to copy the DNA, which we already talked about, right? Synthesize new DNA, a new complementary copy. Then you need to separate the copies. So you made the copies, now you separate the copies. And then the third thing you do is you divide the cell. 
And so we use somewhat complicated terminology to refer to these three different steps of cell division. The copy of the DNA we call, uh, it's not too complicated, we can call it DNA synthesis. Guess what term we use to refer to the separation of the copies? Well, for a certain type of cell, yes. But for the cell we're going to talk about here to make two identical cells, it's mitosis. So mitosis, that weird thing that you learned at some point and then forgot or didn't understand, is literally just a description of the process of how we separate the copies. That's all mitosis is. It's the separation of the copies. Division of the cell, we call cytokinesis. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to draw mitosis in order to really understand what's happening. And in case you think it's boring and you think that we're making it all up, it's good to be skeptical. I wanted to show you guys a video of mitosis happening. So this cell is going to do some weird stuff don't get obsessed about the weird stuff that it does. You're going to see these little pockets kind of bulge out along the side of it. It's called blebbing. And I don't really know exactly what it's for, but it might have something to do with taking in material from the environment. Um, probably it's at least partially an artifact of the fact that this cell is growing on a plastic dish. But I don't want you to obsess about that. Instead, I want you to watch what happens to the chromosomes inside the cell. Okay. Here we go. So those little strands that you see, like strings in the center, are the chromosomes lining up and then separating from each other. So what you're watching in this video is mitosis, where they are going to line up in the center of the cell and then separate from each other, and then cytokinesis when the cell actually divides. So when we draw this process using kind of these cartoon-like objects, it's because in real cells they kind of look like that to some extent. And so it's actually a pretty good way to conceptualize it. And if you ever get confused along the way, just remember the goal is to take one cell and make two identical cells. And you do that by copying the DNA, separating the copies, and dividing the cell. And that's it. Okay? Let's take a break.